Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and we have a brand new video to scrutinize today. But first, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification button so you never miss a video from me ever again. Let's get right into it. Okay, so thank you for whoever it was that let me know that this particular uh, competition was done in Kyiv, which is great. I haven't been there, but I always wanted to go there and I know a lot of people from there. So it looks like this one is a spotlight. Uh, I don't know if it's someone told me that the other one that they did uh, another competition, which if you didn't see my reaction and my judgment on that one, I encourage you to check out the link below so you can see how I uh, rated that one and who I like the best. Now in this one, I'm gonna go ahead and look at it. I'm assuming that the tempo might be a little faster, so we'll take a look and check it out. And I wanna give you guys my unbiased opinion about who I think the winner is. And I'm gonna not just tell you that, but I'm gonna tell you why in a very um, structured way. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> I love this song. I love this song. <laughs> Some people don't like this song. They think it's a little campy and cheesy, and it is, but I still like it because that tempo and the rhythm section is really good. They went the other way. Yeah, I like that turn. There we go. We got the wide shot. <laughs> yes, that was good. That was good, guys. Uh, ooh, that's cool. It's outside. I didn't realize it's outside, and there is an audience. I didn't know if there was an audience or not on my last critique. Good job, guys. That was great. I was entertained. I got a little bit of chicken skin because of the song primarily. I love that song. Um, so let me tell you guys a little bit about, uh, before I tell you who I thought was the winner of this competition, let me tell you about my philosophy as a judge whenever the tempo is fast and I'm judging an intermediate, advanced type level competition. Obviously, many of you all understand my approach to judging, which is I try to be the most objective as possible, which is really hard, is impossible if you don't really define the parameters of what's actually being judged. And so the three things that I look at is control, which basically means, can you control the technique? Can I see a leader, give energy to the follower, and it looked as if they both are doing their roles without canceling each other's roles out. Second thing I look for is timing. Now timing is something that really is just a way to embellish the music. Can I see the dancers amplify something in the music um, that is more pronounced? So if I was a novice viewer uh, in the audience, I could appreciate both the music and the dancing more. And then the last thing I look for is creativity. 
I'm always looking for someone who has something to say that's original. This was the spirit of Lindy Hop and uh, we need to see more of that. So those are the three things that I look at and really the priority of those things shift depending depending on the level of the dancer and the, the competition format, things like that. When it's fast like this, my priority shifts to who can do the control part the best because you don't have a whole lot of time to do a lot of embellishment. I mean, you're just trying to keep up with your partner and your partner's trying to keep up with you. It gets pretty crazy. So the main thing I'm looking for is control. I want to see, can a leader be disciplined enough to do their role and can a follower be disciplined enough to do their role? And how well can they work together with this tempo so that it looks entertaining, but more importantly, it looks controlled. So let me tell you which a uh, couple I liked the best for this particular uh, competition. I don't have a drum roll, nor do I want to blow your ears out on my microphone by making one. But I will tell you, it was not as tough as I thought it was going to be in terms of rendering judgment on this competition. It came down to two uh, two couples. My, my second place couple, let me just go ahead and show you guys them. They were pretty good. He had a green shirt on. She had a red shirt on, green pants. I don't know if they coordinated or not, but that was really cool. But I like uh, when they come out, obviously they're just cool, relaxed. But I can tell where they're at as soon as they broke out in that first swing out. If I can see the positioning of the swing out happen uh, in a very clean way, then I know the, the result of the swing out is going to work. If I see the leader getting to that position of what we would call four for a swing out is eight counts, that fourth position, if they're in the proper position, the proper alignment there, um, then it's pretty easy for the leader to move out of the way for the follower. And that's the hardest part about that swing out is making sure that technical aspect is there so that if you're intending for a, a swing out to go in a straight line, that could happen. If you don't get into that position, what ends up happening is just this never ending circle of just craziness and both you and your partner are sick or maybe you're just happy and your partner's just losing it, whoever that might be, leader or follower. So um, they were my second place. I liked them because they simply had control of the technique. They really had control. They didn't have a lot of time uh, in their set, which I, I don't know why that was. Maybe it was the intro that they came out on. Um, you know, they didn't do anything. They didn't come out with swing outs on that intro. But uh, I will say I liked what they had to do. Now, my first place uh, couple, really, this was uh, the one I liked the best. Now, they, uh, she had like all black on with the red shirt. He had like a, like a maroon shirt and tan pants. As you can see here with them coming out, yeah, it's just like, where, where are you guys at? Right there, I can tell that they understand the control of the, the routine. Now, I will say there was a slight hesitation on the leader uh, in certain movements that I could tell that maybe there was a little bit of lag because I couldn't tell if they were intentionally wanting to do Charleston swing outs or is it that the leader may have gotten to that position, that fourth position too late and was forced to make their partner go away from them? I can't tell, but I, what I can tell is that they had control of the technique. So I'm not gonna judge them on their intentions or what they were trying to do, but I could tell from a critical eye that if he was intending something and he did something else, there was a gap there and I can see that gap. So I still like them first place. They had a lot of control in their movement and I, that's primarily what I look for at this, at this pace. So the other two things, like I said, the timing and creativity is really tough when it's fast at this level. So I encourage dancers that are at this particular level, that stuff comes easily uh, whenever you're able to master the control part. I think that is the hardest part is mastering that. So good job for you guys that, that crushed this routine. And again, big shout out to the camera person who's recording this. They are uh, zooming in and zooming out at the right time. It's great. And it looked like the audience was really into this. Um, what did you guys think about this competition? Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. You've heard my opinion. I like to tell you guys my opinion and give you guys uh, my professional perspective. Now, if you're wanting to learn how to do this and you think it looks really, really hard and difficult, listen, it's not. What's difficult is knowing what's absolutely mandatory 
and those things that are not when you're going through the learning process. So if you're interested in learning how to swing dance right where you're at at your home, I encourage you to check out some of my free courses below. They will help you really just kind of deconstruct uh, the complication of it and be able to take some basic principles and apply them to swing dancing so that you can really speed up your learning process. So a lot of fun with those classes, so absorb that and uh, hopefully you uh, are able to go dancing in your community at some point. With that said, if you guys uh, haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Let me know your comments below on who you thought should have won this competition. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.